Hi everybody, it's Sophia and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build and today we are doing another apartment. We're back in Samai Shuno. It's been a while. Well, it's been a while for me because I built this like I think uh three days ago and I mean the last build I shared was also not the last build. Second last build I also shared on the channel was an apartment. However, I built that like months and months ago it was like the second build i did with dream home decorator when that pack came out so yeah that's where we're at um with kind of the uploading it's all over the place there are some builds i've had forever then there are builds that i built literally three days ago which is this one um i was just kind of craving uh doing something more of this style i don't often do this style so it was refreshing. Um, this is a flat, um, obviously in the fashion district. I think it's it's in the apartment where I'm pretty sure Penny Pizzazz lives when you first open the game. Uh, this is a really, really fun apartment to renovate because it's a, it's a good size. Like, it's small, but if you really try enough, you can fit in, like, two bedrooms and stuff like that. So, there's loads of options and stuff like that. And I'm starting off with the kitchen in this apartment. Um, I go for more uh, neutral wood tones um, and use like really soft pinks as an accent. Because um, I did kind of sort of imagine that this flat is kind of... Obviously it's for like um, two... I feel like it'd be two university students. Um, I don't... I was thinking that they're sisters or that like they're related somehow, but because I did imagine female sims in here, but obviously you could have whomever and you know, whatever sex, but I was figuring it would be two sisters and they kind of have this very nice flat for university students and they are, you know, like they're, I think like a little more neater. I think they, um, it, I mean, obviously it depends because there are different countries and like, you know, not everybody goes to university straight away, but I would imagine that unlike they would be older students as opposed to like 18, 19, they would be closer to their 20s. Um, and maybe they afford this flat by living together or Maybe they're like a bit spoiled and they have it paid for them. I don't know. To be honest, a lot of the apartments in the game, like the rent is pretty easy. Um, I feel like, I hope that, I feel like the apartments, like the really big fancy ones should have way higher rent. The ones for these uh, smaller ones, I'm if I'm remembering correctly, are pretty normal, pretty average. I don't know. I just feel like a lot of the money and all of like, that and how they compare to each other in the game is a bit wonky but that's nothing new for the sims it's just you know, and it's just a game it really doesn't matter that much but they actually don't have like a proper living room area i opted just to have like this nice like entryway bench area instead of making it feel so crowded and closed off i gave them this bench i put shoes under it i gave them a bookshelf because that is very important for gameplay i used a lot of the uh, paintings from Dream Home Decorator because they're very gorgeous and I don't know about you but they give me mad glass beach vibes so <laughs> and then yeah I just add like I use a lot of the Dream Home Decorator stuff because it's, it's that really nice like Scandinavian kind of style and as well as like Discover University and Eco Lifestyle. Those packs go really nice together but yeah. I get the like open shelving thingy from the Dream Home Decorator pack and I get this little side table with some mail and I put just a nice plant next to it and have that really gorgeous mirror from the Jungle Adventure pack. Yeah. Oh, also Tiny Living. Tiny Living also goes really well. This, uh, I did opted to make a laundry room because I like to include laundry as much as possible. However, if you wanted to turn this into another full bathroom because there are two sims living here, you could, or you could make the kitchen bigger or like redo the floor plan. But at that point, I would just reconsider downloading a different build. But this is on the gallery. My gallery ID is 
F-F-F-E-E-P-H-E-E-F-Y underscore ace, A-C-E. And um, so if you want to place it in your game, you can. The address is in the top left, but as I said, I'm pretty sure it's the one Penny Pizzazz lives in when you move into the game. So you'll have to evict her, but that's fine. She'll live. <laughs> you'll see her around the world anyways. But yeah, this is the uh, full bathroom. I only gave them a stand-up shower, but I feel like that's... Like, I feel like that's more of a... I don't know why. I'm more comfortable doing stand-up showers, like the singular shower stalls, in more modern and contemporary builds. Don't know why. But there's another... Uh, there are two laundry hampers in this... Uh, build there's one in the bathroom and one in the uh laundry room so that's convenient i used that uh mirror from the dream home decorator pack and it has like that little shelf on the bottom so i get i got a debug toothbrush and a debug like makeup palette and i put it on there and i thought it looked so good but yeah this is the first bedroom it is the bigger of the two uh this one has you know a wardrobe and two dressers from tiny living a double bed, two night tables, new two nightstand tables. <sighs> that was hard to say. But this is when like some of the pink like accents really start to come out from the carpet, the drapes, and like the uh two feature walls I have in this bedroom, which is also a dream home decorator. I hadn't used it yet, so I was just like I was looking for a way to bring out the pink tones in this build, and I thought that was a good way of doing it. Uh in that little area there I end up getting a you could make it like a walk-in wardrobe if you truly wanted but considering I imagine that these sims would be in university I gave her a her them whatever I gave the sim a computer desk area I gave her a rather nice one it's one that honestly looks like a mac um <laughs> like that's what it reminds me of like the desktop macs I'm not too familiar with Apple products because I don't really use them, but I did use one for like a course I took in the secondary school. Oh, that was like grade 10, God. But yeah, and then I clutter up the top shelf here using the desk from <laughs> Dream Home Decorator. You're going to hear me say Dream Home Decorator a lot in this uh, voiceover because even though this voiceover is incredibly short, this is possibly the shortest build I think I've ever done on the channel. One of the shortest anyways. I just <sighs> struggling to find words, you know, but yeah, then I just get some paintings and a mirror on the wall behind the bed, and then we go into the next bedroom. This bedroom is a bit of an awkward shape because I wanted to have a double bed in here. If you wanted to save room, you could like push it against the wall or get a single bed. That's totally fine. They end up having... The same wardrobe, actually. It was the one made by Hey Harry. And then I... Yeah, because I was concerned about ha giving her a desk space or not. And I didn't really like any of the single tile ones for the look and the color scheme I was going for. So I shuffled things around. I give her a chair in the pink swatch from the Paranormal pack. I've yet to use this, so I was pretty pleased about it. Um, in a bit, I do change the swatch of the desk because I thought it was too pink. I'd, it was... It's really, really subtle in the wood tone, but like just changing it, I felt helped calm things down, especially when I added that board from Discovery University because it's like, I wanted there to be, I wanted it to be a little more subtle and not like this was Sharpay's flat, but you know, nothing wrong with it if you do like that kind of thing. This is more Barbie than it is like hot pink Sharpay if you get my drift. But yeah, at first I was going to do like those, uh, wall lights from the bowling stuff pack but i just used the same like table lamps um i used those little teeny tiny uh ones from dream home decorator but that's the build thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye mm -hmm.